Welcome to NBC's Poker After Dark. I'm Marianella. Don't go anywhere. You are watching MTV's Top Pop Group. Let's kick off the biggest hip hop concert of the year. I'm Marianella from Fuse. I'm thinking about my door bell. When you're gonna ring it, when you're gonna ring it. Yeah, I'm thinking about my door bell. When you're gonna ring it, when you're gonna ring it. Yeah, I'm thinking about my door bell. When you're gonna ring it. Uh, Marianella. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Marianella, I want you to be my vanilla waver. Where are we playing? Right here? If you want to go tight on us, you can just look right at me. That'll be fine. I have no problem with that. Perfect. I'm here to see her. I'm doing another movie in January. I want you to be in it. You're okay. so effing hot. Thank you. Well, let me too. I like working with you. Me too. You're beautiful. Thank you. Freight train. Uh, uh, believe. One more to go. How bad do you want to fight the garbage man? So bad you just don't know. So far, the defending champ sending all of them to the landfill. All to the landfill. I feel like I really shouldn't be here, which makes it a lot more fun. Are you are she such a crank. This is Fuse Presents Hot 97. No, you say that at the end. No, you we were supposed, supposed to, to talk say about who's no, here. You were supposed to say this I'm is I'm changing Fuse. the damn rules. I'm trying to find where the hot girls are. Do you know? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I just got some glass shoved up my thigh, but it's cool. We're good. I don't know if that's fat, though. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't you sound know. like my sister. <laughs> oh, okay. See those chips, man? It's pathetic. You got laundry money there. I'm just so distracted by okay. this whole outfit. <laughs> here we have the BJs right here in front of me. How are you guys doing tonight? What the hell? I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Poker's like golf. Poker's like golf. So golf's not a sport, no, Charles? No, it's like stock car driving. It's not a sport either. <laughs> I want to be famous. I want to be a star. This week, they got their first challenge from our co-host, Marianelle. Now, to help you guys develop and grow as groups, every week we're going to be giving you a challenge. So to help you guys with this week's challenge is your very first star coach. Woo! Guys, she is a Grammy Award winner who definitely has her own sound and style. Oh, and she's an actress. Come on, girl. Make some noise for Eve! Amaris, I know that it has been a crazy ride for three days. What do you guys feel that you need to do to really make it through the next week? Give it our heart and soul. Uh, show's not over yet. Bosaic, congratulations! Thank you! Yes! Wanna be famous and wanna be a star? Such a vibrant thing, vibrant thing, a vibrant thing, uh, yeah. It's such a vibrant thing. Wow, dang, a vibrant thing. We got the Grammys, baby. Welcome to Access Fuse, crashing the Grammys. Vianella, how's it going? I'm here inside a Hollywood soundstage for Usher's private Grammy rehearsal. Oh! <laughs> Come Sunday night, this room will be filled with the who's who of music, and I think I'll just sit right here in the front row with them. Hola, Mark. Bienvenidos a NBC's Poker After Dark. Poker is quickly becoming an international game, and this week we have six players born in six different countries at our table. Are you being a bully out there? Are you being a bully? Daniel, does Phil ever miss? <laughs> I mean, really. He had me. I was all in with nothing. Jamie, what's it like having Chen to your right and Helmut to your left? It's about the worst position you could possibly be in. Oh, <laughs> there you have it. One hand, 25 seconds, 30 seconds. Who do you want to beat more? When you play with your brother, who you love, or a stranger that you met at the courts? Both. I want to beat everybody. Hi, Karamba. Roberto, Roberto. Oh, man. When Chad quickly called, did you know you were in trouble? Oh, I knew it was bad trouble. Now, how come both real cowboys were eliminated first? That's what we were talking about. I don't know. Phil, you are the poker brat. So were you destined to win Heckler's Week? <laughs> the bad boy of poker should win Heckler's Week, right? What would make you feel better? A little yeehaw? Yep. Yeehaw! Congratulations. Oh, man. It's been a long drops. time since I've been here with I you. I know. Do you remember? <laughs> yes, I do. That makes me feel good, 50. I feel like cheat off you. right now. Samuel L. Jackson really a bad ass mother. Shut yeah. your mouth. You know, next to me, he bought the baddest man on the planet. I Show. love uh, it. Zachary, you're so much fun. I don't want you to leave, but you have to. Yes. I'm here with two time world champ Johnny Chan. Now, Johnny. Jerry Yang, unbelievable. He is just running this table. Now, Phil Helmuth was saying that this could easily still run 12 hours. What are your thoughts on that? I, I'm going to say Phil's going to be totally raw. Are you Latina? Pero claro que sí que soy Latina. You know, he hits a three and a six and another six. What? How does that happen? That's poker, baby. That's poker. Are you know, any last thoughts? You know, Ali, I interviewed Jerry Yang yesterday, and the first thing he did was show me the picture of his six kids. Truly a genuine and humble man, and he honestly deserved to win this thing. I 
spent all day dodging wardrobe. What's the big deal? They want to get into it. it. <laughs> She's one of the million designers right. that have come out. All right. If you really like a band, go buy their album. You wouldn't go to Barnes and Nobles, take all the books off the shelf, and walk out of the store. What do they have in their fridge? Oh, they just can't believe it's not butter. Found the bathroom. <laughs> I think I just dropped the toilet. And you know what? Checking the gate. Yeah, we're checking the gate.